And look, I feel bad dissing you. Are there American people here? There's a couple over there going, whoa, just live the stereotype. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I, I love you guys. I just think we, we look up to you a little bit too much. Do you know what I mean? We try and impress you too much. And look, you, I love you because you're full of confidence. You guys will sing your national anthem at the drop of a hat. Do you, in fact, the next person next to you is wearing a hat, so let's try it. <laughs> where, are you? where are you from over here, ma'am? What's your, what's your name? Sorry? Carrie. Carrie. Do you know what? Carrie was so American then, she waited until the microphone got to her before she spoke. <laughs> so where are you from, Carrie? Kansas. Kansas. I don't know why I'm speaking like this, Carrie. <laughs> but, uh, all right, come with me, Carrie. Come on, we're going to sing your national anthem. We're going to show <laughs> what Americans can do. <laughs> come with me. Watch your head on the camera there, Carrie. Carrie from Kansas. <laughs> I love your accent, Carrie. Now, uh, how old are you, by the way? I'm 19. Oh, that was close. I'm allowed to do this. <laughs> How are you with your anthem? Because my theory is that you guys can just bust it out without even preparing for it. I know it as well, so I'll do it with you. Oh, okay. Okay, <laughs> look at that. Oh, okay. Oh, it's fine. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. Okay, you ready? Okay. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light. You are nailing this. What so proudly we have. Jesus. You don't need me. Come on. At the twilight's last moon, whose broad scouts and bright stars through the perilous night, all the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming. I'm going to let you do the high note. And the rockets. <laughs> That our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star spangled banner yet wave? Ready? Oh, the land of the free and the home of the I know you're 19 and he's 12, but if I set you up with Josh, it wouldn't look bad. <laughs> Do you see what I mean? I think that was unprovoked. That was an American just popping up out of the crowd, busting out their anthem, in tune, nailing it, walking off. Yeah, suck that, bitches. <laughs> See, I was, on an I was on an American show, and sometimes it's fair to say you guys don't travel well. Uh, I was on a show, a TV show in Australia, hosted by an American comedian, and I don't want to name her um, because I think she's brilliant. I was really excited to be on her show. But I, I, oh, I was so scared to speak up, but this is how she opened her show. In Australia, in front of 500 Australians, like this. Hey, Australia, I've been here for seven days, and I haven't seen one black person yet. And I was thinking, oh, uh, well, we don't, we don't have many. Um, <laughs> um, I mean, we have Aboriginal people, but you wouldn't have seen them because they don't hang out at five-star hotels. <laughs> uh, mainly because we treated them like shit, so thanks for bringing that up publicly. <laughs> but I don't think that's what she meant. I think she meant African-American people, because for an American person, that's a black person. She goes, I haven't seen one black person yet. And I was like, well, we don't have many of those. <laughs> I mean, we'd call them African-Australians for a start. <laughs> Uh, but we don't have a lot of people of African origin in Australia, mainly because, and this is what I wish I'd said, we never imported them as slaves! <laughs> don't hold that over us. Don't diss us because you can't see a visible reminder of an awkward piece of our social history. <laughs> You're like some German guy in New York going, hey, what's going on, New York? I haven't seen one former concentration camp anywhere. <laughs> 
And it's not just Australia. I've seen black American comedians on stage in Ireland walk out and go, hey, what's going on, Ireland? You ain't got no black people here. And you can hear the Irish audience go, uh, no, uh, we're Ireland. <laughs> it's, a, it's a cold, wet, shitty, rainy country. They don't want to come. Like, well, what's, well, what's wrong with you people? There's nothing wrong with them. They just geographically don't have many black people there. You know what I mean? In fact, there aren't gingers in the Amazon, but it doesn't make them racist. <laughs> Well, who do, who do downtrodden people? Who do people everyone used to pick on and discriminate against, but now they look up to because they got a kind of funky accent? And the Irish are going, us, you fucker. <laughs> but she kept going, so I haven't, I, Australia, I haven't seen one black person yet. Next line. But you got Asians everywhere. <laughs> and again, I'm thinking, yeah, because we're right next to Asia. <laughs> And then, honestly, she said this, and they just won't leave me alone. <laughs> I know, and the only way to sign that offensively is to do that. They won't leave me alone. That's the only way you can convert that into sign language. Do you know? And now, two things appall me about that. One, the Australian audience thought that was fucking hilarious. <laughs> but two, do you know how outdated an Asian's talk funny joke is in Australia? We've had people from Vietnam and China coming to Australia for years. They're now second or third generation. Do you know what a second, do you know what an Asian Aussie sounds like right now? G'day, I'm Darren Wong. How you fucking going? <laughs> it, just, it was from a different era. Again, the equivalent would be me walking out on stage in New York going, hey, what's going on, New York? I've been here for a week and I haven't seen one Vietnamese person yet. But you got blacks everywhere. <laughs> What are you talking about, Willis? <laughs> and look, I don't, it's too easy to just diss Americans outright because you're amazing, Carrie. You showed off what Americans do best. Just, it's in your posture. Even the way Americans walk is incredible. I have a game I play overseas which is pick the nationality from the way they walk. That's great, because you can pick Aussies a mile away. <laughs> Australians, Australians walk like our economy. Fairly strong, looking up, could go anywhere. You ever see an Australian get on a plane? We walk like this. <laughs> Honestly, an Australian on a plane looks like he's thinking, so let me get this straight. It goes really fast, then up. Fucking incredible. <laughs> English people have a stoop. You guys have got a bit of a, oh God, oh, it used to be important. Do you remember? For me, the Queen's Jubilee last year summed up Britain to a T. Pomp and circumstance and pissing rain. <laughs> Honestly, it rained on the Queen for 12 hours straight, which I think was just God's way of making sure the Irish enjoyed it as well. Even English town names sound English. I love getting on a train here and just hearing, the next train is all stations to Cockfosters. <laughs> Cock. <laughs> Fosters. <laughs> <laughs>